Welcome to the 2023 Sedona St. Patrick's Day Parade. Presented by Sound Bites Grill. Casual fine dining with a large seafood influence and world-class entertainment nightly. Located at the shops at Pinion Point in Sedona and online at SedonaBitesGrill.com. The View Coffee Cafe. Proudly serving Starbucks beverages and coffees with incredible red rock views from their courtyard patio. Visit them at the shots at Pinion Point in Sedona or online at TheViewCoffeeCafe.com. The Sedona Chamber of Commerce, making Sedona the best place to live, work, play, and visit. Visit their website at SedonaChamber.com to view upcoming events. And Sedona Parks and Recreation, providing diverse year-round leisure opportunities for citizens, visitors, and future generations of Sedona. And now in Sedona, let's join our hosts, Jen Cohen and Jackie Bessler. All right. You're all ready. Yes. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to the Sedona St. Patrick's Day Parade. I'm Jen Cohen. I'm sitting here with Jackie Bessler. So nice to have you all with us on this blustery morning today. It is gorgeous and sunny, as always, in Sedona. A little chilly in the wind, but otherwise, a great start for today's Shamrocks and Shenanigans Parade. Now, we have been asked by the uh, the police Sedona, uh, Sedona Police Department to please keep pedestrians out of the road during the parade, so please don't switch sides and all that good stuff. During the parade. Yeah, you don't want to get run down by a leprechaun. They're cranky little suckers. <laughs> <laughs> so I understand. Little bitty shoe prints all over your back. <laughs> Stay out of the road. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks some of our sponsors, which include Sound by Grills, uh, casual fine dining with large a large seafood influence, world class entertainment nightly, and they're open Wednesday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Absolutely. And the View Coffee Cafe, proudly serving Starbucks beverages and coffees. You can order ahead by phone or on online. They'll have it ready for you. Incredible red rock views and a courtyard patio. They're open from six to five daily for breakfast and lunch. Great to grab stuff for a hike or a ride. You can see their full menu at theviewcoffeecafe.com. They're in the shops at Pinion Point adjacent to the Hyatt. Sedona Chamber of Commerce, one of our sponsors out here, making the Sedona a better place to live, work, play, and visit. You can check out their website for all their upcoming events, which is sedonachamber.com. Absolutely. And Sedona Parks and Rec, thank you to Sedona Parks and Recreation. They're providing diverse year-round leisure opportunity for citizens, visitors, and future generations of Sedona. Well, how about that? We are just about underway here with uh, our first entry, which is always the one that makes the most amount of noise, right? Oh my gosh, you know when they're coming. Absolutely. We have the Sedona Fire District, and here we have them, and they're sp coming with their governing board today. This is a five-member board. It's a group of local residents elected to work with the fire chief to provide emergency services to make our district one of the safest places in the world to live, work, and explore for our community and its visitors. Sedona Fire District board members are Dave so Al Camello, Janet Jablo, Jean McCarthy, and Helen McNeil. And they wish everyone a safe and happy St. Patrick's Day and a happy and fun parade celebration. Happy St. Patty's Day to you. Oh, that is awesome. Everybody wearing their green inside. I know. I've got green on. It's under my coat, but I am covered in green. I promise. <laughs> All right, and of course we've got three judges out here today, yes? Mm, yes, we sure do. We have the Town of Clarkdale Mayor, Ms. Robin Pudombauer. Robin is currently mayor of the Town of Clarkdale. She has served on the Town of Clarkdale's Planning Commission, Design Review Board, and Board of Adjustment. Robin's fun activities with the Clarkdale Downtown Business Alliance have been organizing and participating in the Clarkdale Downtown Block Parties, Clarktoberfest, and the Clarkdale Car Show. Robin has also been part of a wonderful team of artists who put together the annual Made in Clarkdale art show. She is a longtime member of the League of Women Voters, holding many positions including local and state president in California and Arizona on the board of directors of the League of Women Voters of Northern Arizona. And she's co-founder and past chairperson of the Verde Valley Regional Economic Organization. Robin currently serves on the board of directors of the Clarkdale Foundation. She and her husband Henry have been residents of Clarkdale since 1997. Wow. That's amazing. No kidding. How about that? Well, we've got our uh, banners coming up here, and it looks like uh, looks like we have got yeah, the one of our Cub Scouts. Yeah, the Cub Scout. Would this be Sedona Cub Scout Pack uh, 7026? I believe it might be. Yes. Oh, yep. Surely she's not insane. Yep, that's it. Oh, what a great looking banner! The dogs want to go visit. They do. They're Pup Scouts. The Pup Scouts. <laughs> pup Pup Scouts. <laughs> the Pup Scouts. Oh, love it. <laughs> 
And we've got a total of three judges today. Very intelligent and respectful judges. No bribes, no bribing. No, <laughs> except with candy. That's true. That's what I heard about Aaron Bruce. Yes. You can bribe with she candy, yes. Candy. I know Born in hard. Houston, Texas, <laughs> graduated with a bachelor's degree in hotel and restaurant management from the University of Houston and moved to Sedona in 1996 as a food service director for the Sedona Oak Creek School District. She's worked in restaurants with tour companies. She's enjoyed getting to know all our local families while working in the office at Big Park Community School. Aaron and her husband, Jason, enjoy their two boys and two dogs. Oh. She started working with Sedona. Sedona Chamber in 2017 and enjoys supporting local businesses. And Aaron loves Sedona as a community to live in and to share with family and there friends. Oh, that was the Girl Scout Troops at 417. The Sedona Girl Scouts Multi Level Troop 417 is proud to participate in this year's parade. They stand united as a girl led organization promoting leadership, outdoor skills, community service, entrepreneurship, and they participate in many STEM projects. Look at all those intelligent young ladies. Ah, the Ro Red Rock and Dinos is up next, a group of wild and crazy Sedona locals who are all about having fun and spending spreading joy as dinosaurs and other magical creatures you never know where they might pop up around town and they're here to remind us all to lighten up have fun and dance like nobody's watching very nice that's the best way to dance like nobody's watching <laughs> except keep your clothes on that's important now our grand marshal comes up next now, this is Irish Queen Janine Wells, and she is so honored and thrilled to be this year's Grand Marshal. Aww. Walking with her is going to be your sister, Claire, who is from Colorado, the Hula Hoopsie Clown. Now, they've participated in the parade since 2014, and uh, it all started with handing out parade programs in 2012, and from there they went on to work creating clown costumes. Now, this involved in creating theme-based costumes related to an event or a holiday or volunteering for the Parks and Rec Department. Now, Janine has become a well-known staple at city events, providing games and giveaways while always dressed for the the, the, the occasion, of course, <laughs> if I can say that word, yes. Yeah, so. Well, her dress is so dazzling, I was imagining you can't speak. <laughs> now, Sheldon Shen Shen Shenanigans is driving the car, her sister Carrie and friend Kelly carrying the banner, her brother John and the lucky leprechaun nephew Aaron and her son is up next. Oh, there goes our dancing dinosaurs. I know, the dinosaurs are having way too much fun. Hamming it up for the judges. Yep, dinosaurs are hams. <laughs> Look at that, the choreography. <laughs> Yep, they've taken over the parade. That's it. <laughs> it's now Dinosaur Parade. <laughs> it's, it's all about the itty-bitty arms, isn't it? It is. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> and then here comes the Humane Society of Sedona. The Humane Society of Sedona is a nonprofit animal shelter dedicated to helping the animals in our community and beyond. And the dogs are here today. Uh, they're a combination of alumni and adoptable dogs. So if you see somebody you might think is a new family member, reach out. One of those volunteers there. Oh, I love the cat holding the banner. So cute. <laughs> you go, girl. She's got moves, too. Uh -huh. Dancing with She's the like, dinosaurs. I'll, I'll show you up, dinosaurs. <laughs> Feline's got the moves. <laughs> Meow. No doubt. No doubt. That is for sure. <laughs> well, the Sedona, the Humane Society of Sedona, always a fantastic. Oh, they've got such a great facility. Oh, my gosh. Always yeah. enjoy doing events with them over at PetSmart mm -hmm. and uh, all of the adoptable animals. And they do such a great job at... Uh, at, at, at fostering animals yes. in that facility as well. Yes, they do. Everyone gets a good home. You know, I have two uh, two rescued animals, and one of them was born on St. Patrick's Day. Oh, yeah, my no dog kidding. Pepper was born on St. Patrick's Day. So yesterday, she's a shelter doggy, and my second dog Bunny was born on April Fool's Day. Wait, you have a dog named Bunny? Bunny, yeah, she came that way. I didn't <laughs> change it. You know, she was an older adoption, so we oh. didn't change her name, and it's a cute one. So, so is I, she a hoppy dog? Yes, she is. Uh, <laughs> okay, the horn tells me to stop the jokes. There you go. Taylor Waste is our leprechaun sponsor here for the uh, our parade here today, and saying uh, happy St. Patrick's Day from your friends at Taylor Waste. Chris and Tandy are grateful for a community which supports local businesses, and they want to thank Taylor Waste. We want to thank Taylor Waste for sponsoring this year's parade. Yes, absolutely. And do you, do you know that leprechauns are actually 
really concerned about global warming. What? Yes. Do you know why leprechauns are concerned about global warming? Now, why is it that leprechauns would be concerned about global warming? Because they're really into green living. Oh. Yeah. Dun, dun. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> they are. Okay. Do you know what you call an environmentally conscious leprechaun? Uh, what would you call an environmentally conscious leprechaun? A wee cycler. <laughs> <laughs> I know, some of these are pretty bad. Oh, but, you know. <laughs> my goodness. So, this is what you were doing last night? Yes, I was looking up leprechaun jokes. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And there, there's a lot of them. You'd be shocked. How many? Do you know why you can't borrow money from a leprechaun? Uh, well, I have lots of ideas, but <laughs> why why are you saying that we can't borrow money from a leprechaun? Because they're always a little short. Ah, uh, there you go. <laughs> oh, I got a laugh on that one. <laughs> Another one of our speaking of laughs. We have a wonderful judge today, John Mark Wazumbing, who's a program and marketing coordinator for the Sedona Public Library. We're going to talk about him because he's way too much fun to talk about. But there goes the Verde Valley Reptile Ranch and Rescue. Ooh. Looking good. VVO Reptile Ranch and Rescue is a nonprofit that focuses on rescuing native and exotic reptiles. They rehome healthy reptiles to approve family and provide education on local venomous and non venomous reptiles that your children can encounter on the trails and in their backyards. They participate in school events and other venues and offer birthday surprise visits with their animals. VVO also does rattlesnake and snake removal for those unwanted visitors. Keep the emergency lines open and call or text VVO Reptile Ranch and Rescue to help. When in doubt, text pictures that identifies venomous versus non-venomous snakes and help them save their much needed friends. Thanks for the help is up next, and they are an LLC here in Arizona, a number one family-owned and operated moving delivery and disposal company. Owners Christopher and Brittany uh, Nimitz wish you all a happy and safe St. Patrick's Day with clean spring, clean outs, and moving season around the corner. Uh, you want to leave it all to them to worry about. Oh. You want to call and text for a free estimate. Oh, there we go. There is a very large snake being... Wait, escorted what? down the line. Oh, you're kidding me. No, there's a very large, see, look. Wow. There's a very large snake there. <laughs> yes. Okay. And St. Saint Patrick. Uh, He's has, green. He, well, yeah, he sent that one out <laughs> of uh, Ireland. Yes, that, oh, I got lots of jokes about that. Here's the Just a Penny Please organization. Justapennyplease.org creates and funds pet-friendly, safe homes for battered women and their kids and their pets because most shelters don't accept pets. So it's very important. And Just a Penny Please does a great job of raising funds to fund pet-friendly, safe homes for battered women and their kids with their pets. That is cool. Ooh, look at these. Fancy, I love a parade with some vehicles in it. This is the best. These guys are so pretty. Very nice. Well, one of our judges, John Mark Wazumping, is a proud husband, father, and a cat dad. Very proud of his cat. Cat dad. Uh-huh. John Mark recently won the Rotary Club of Sedona's 2022 Chili Cook-Off in the community category. He loves to draw and eat buffalo wings. Mr. John Mark Wazumping, make sure you smile. And he says Reese's Pieces. No, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Right. Yes. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are his favorite. Yes. Just uh, saying. By his votes. Mm -hmm. uh, the <laughs> All of our parade organizers. Organizers want to thank the Sedona Police Department and all its volunteers uh, for playing such an instrumental part in this event to keep it safe for everybody out here. And I uh, also want to thank the parade sponsors, Taylor Waste, Sedona Trolley, and uh, Patriot Disposal. And that, of course, brings us to our banner sponsor, yes, the yes. Sedona Council banner. Mm-hmm. All right. So city of Sedona Mayor and City Council and the dignitaries riding along today. They are indeed. Now, the city of Sedona, the most beautiful place on earth, wishes you a safe and happy St. Patrick's Day. All the best from uh, Mayor Scott Jablow, Vice Mayor Holly Plug, and city councilors. Jessica Williamson, Pete Furman, Melissa Dunn, Kathy Kinsella, and uh, Brian Fultz. There we go. And here is We Love Sedona Real Estate. We love Sedona Real Estate. And their playhouse will be donated to one of the local daycare centers after the parade. Isn't that nice? So this is what Sedona means by tiny houses. Yes, this is the new way. Okay. Yep, tiny house. Got it. <laughs> That's a good looking tiny house. Got lots of windows. Yes. That's important. Looks like a great chicken coop. That would be a great chicken coop. But you know, a preschooler would think that's the best. The National Society of Daughters of the American Revolution was founded in 18... 
1990. Now, DAR's objectives are to promote historic preservation, education, patriotism, and honor Revolutionary War patriots. The Oak Creek chapter has 36 members, and its regent is Carol A. Laporte of Sedona. Very, very nice. Oh, and here comes Yavapai County Sheriff's Office, the YCSO dignitaries. Of course, dignitaries following dignitaries today. The Yavapai County Sheriff's Office covers 8,000 square miles of northern Arizona, including the enchanting Sedona and Verde Valley. There's no luck that YCSO, it's no luck that YCSO is here for the citizens of Yavapai County. It's the dedication, commitment to service, and undeniable hard work of our incredible law enforcement personnel that keeps our communities safe and enjoyable to live in. Thank you so much to the Coconino County Sheriff's. We absolutely appreciate you as well, and the Yavapai County Sheriff's Office too. It's a great collaboration of wonderful people doing great things to keep our lives happy and safe. Oh, yep. look at this. Yep. Dun, dun, dun. No kidding. And I love this. They, they they made mention that their vehicle was at least green for the same That's Day true. Parade. You know, and you got to check out this vehicle, number 15 there. That is a Linco Bearcat. What? Yep. It is a bulletproof armored vehicle that's built on a Ford F550 chassis. It has a turret on the top. You can see the beautiful lady in the top. They, nice. they can throw tear gas and etc. out the turret or banana peels, whatever they got going on. And they tested the bulletproof glass at the Super Bowl by shooting at it. Oh. <laughs> they actually said they got to test it recently. They got to shoot at it at, well, at the Super Bowl, and it's perfect. No scratches whatsoever. Do you hear how quiet that is? That is the most incredible vehicle I've ever seen. So it sneaks up on you. It sneaks up on you. <laughs> so they can throw tear gas at you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, fair enough. I don't know. Got to do what you got to do. <laughs> well, following our Yavapai County Sheriff's Office is going to be the Chino Valley High School Marching Band uh, under the direction of Jeannie Gappinger and drum major Audrey Wilkin and we will see if we get uh, get serenaded out here at the parade absolutely do you know what kind of instrument a proud Irishman plays in a parade mm, bagpipe no oh, no bragpipe oh <laughs> And following the, Chisco, the Chino Valley High School Marching Band is Yavapai Title Agency. Yavapai Title Agency is located in Sedona, Cottonwood, Camp Verde, and they have been servicing our community since 1963. And they want to thank you for your business over the past 60 years. That is Yavapai Title Agency. That is a gorgeous Ford truck they've got going oh, yeah. there. Ooh, she's pretty. And her name is Betsy. <laughs> That's Betsy, the Ford oh, 250. She got looks it. Like, oh, and look at the baby He's in the Standing front. for best escrow and title service in Yavapai. Oh, my gosh. That is super That's clever. That's how they came that up with that. super clever. <laughs> yes. And the Sedona Heritage Museum is following up. Oh, we got some period costumes. I love a parade. Now, they're celebrating their 25th anniversary in 2023. They're located in a beautiful Jordan Historical Park here in Uptown Sedona. The museum is the place for residents and tourists alike to explore the community's rich and unique history. Through innovative and engaging exhibits and programs, the Sedona Heritage Museum tells the story of Sedona's natural history, homesteaders, artists, movie making, and so much more. Visit the museum's website, website at sedonamuseum.com org to see their busy schedule of events and plan your trip today. Thank you, Sedona, for 25 years of support. And here is the Desert Irish Wolfhound Association. Ooh. Look at those beautiful canines of great size and commanding appearance. The Irish Wolfhound is a remarkable by combining power and swiftness with keen sight. It's the largest and tallest of the galloping hounds. These gentle giants are the tallest of all dogs and known to be the oldest of dog breeds. They were used as war dogs, guards 
for property and herds. They were named for their purpose. They were used to hunt deer, elk, boar, and wolves. They did their job so well that wolves became extinct in Ireland in 1786. The Irish Wolfhound is remarkable at combining power and swiftness with keen sight. The Desert Irish Wolfhound Club is committed to improving the health and welfare of Irish wolfhounds throughout Arizona, encouraging responsible ownership through mentoring and education, and conducting Irish wolfhound-specific rescues and rehoming statewide. Well, the Sedona Bell Rock Kiwanis Club is up next, serving the needs of Sedona and the children of the world for more than 45 years. Their members and volunteers install the American flags in Uptown Sedona for the national holidays. Sponsor the West Sedona School Spelling Bee. They donate to the Sedona Food Bank and the House of Ruth, along with other nonprofits that support the children of our community. They also we well, they also support Kiwanis International, supporting children and medical and health programs around the world. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, what a gorgeous day for a parade, and it's packed as far as the eye can see. And here come the Democrats of the Red Rocks. Please welcome board members and volunteers of the Democrats of the Red Rocks, also known as DOOR. Celebrating its 20th anniversary this year, DOOR is a democratic club that welcomes all independent-minded citizens throughout Sedona and the Verde Valley into its ranks. With more than 350 members, DOOR works year-round to fight for good government in Arizona, to elect democratic candidates by increasing voter turnout, promoting democratic party principles, and educating the community. For information on how you become a member of DOOR or volunteer with this vital organization, go to democratsoftheredrocks.org. Tom O'Halloran is along with us as well. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to nice you. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming out. The <laughs> Sedona UFO Tour Group. I know. They're always wearing the green. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. I wonder if aliens are actually Irish. <laughs> <laughs> In they're New York, they were for quite a while. <laughs> okay, so the Arizona Uf UFO Tours, since... 2018 has been the only UFO tour with a former satellite engineer and first-hand contactee as the tour guide. Using third-generation night vision, you can see upwards of 100 spacecraft an hour on a clear Sedona night. Arizona Uf UFO yeah. tours is where the sky is not the limit. And, of huh. course, uh, they you can ask the guide any question on any topic and be amazed. Attend the Sedona UFO Sightings Conference. That's April 15th and 16th at Area 1 Sedona and witness contactees and experts in the UFO field in person. Really cool. <laughs> That's great. How adorable. I love the spacesuit. That's a beautiful spacesuit. <laughs> Very flashy. And here is the Northern Arizona Celtic Heritage Society. The Northern Arizona Celtic Heritage Society is proud to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Everyone is Irish today. And they have been in business for 26 years, have given over $130,000 in scholarships and grants, and they will celebrate their 25th Arizona Highland Celtic Festival at Fort Tuttle on the Fairgrounds in Flagstaff, July 15th and 16th, and they hope to see you there. That's a wonderful celebration. Absolutely wonderful. I want to thank uh, Sound Bites Grill for helping us out and sponsoring uh, today's St. Patty's Day Parade. Casual fine dining with a large seafood influence. World Class Entertainment nightly open Wednesday through Saturday 11 to 9, Sunday 11 to 8. Best patio views. An extensive wine list to go along with it. Soundbitesgrill.com. Up next we have P-Flag Sedona Verde Valley. Founded in 1973, P-Flag is celebrating its 50th anniversary and they are the first and largest organization dedicated dedicated to supporting and educating and advocating for LGBTQ plus people and their families. To learn more about PFLAG Sedona Verde Valley, please visit pflagsedona.org. There you go. Hey, do you know how old leprechauns are? I don't know. How old are leprechauns? They are so old that they can remember when rainbows were in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> That's how old they are. <laughs> All right, here comes 27. They are getting better. I will give you that. <laughs> <laughs> That's real random. <laughs> Here's SAVGO, the Marine Corps League, Sedona Area Veteran and Community Outreach, a.k.a. SAVGO, is Sedona's veteran organization. SAVGO focuses on civic and social activities that are patriotic and non-political in nature. You don't have to be a veteran to join as members, and they include civic-minded women, men, and youth who care about the Sedona community. SAVCO's activities include their annual charity golf event,
Senate in direct support of Savco's scholarship program and Toys for Tots. Savco is responsible for 89 flags on 89A in conjunction with the Kiwanis. Savco's veteran assistance program is overseen by the Air Force veteran Don Halford and assists veterans in need. Leading the Savco group it is a Marine Red 2020 Corvette and the Marine Corps veteran Gordy Garvey. Carrying the Savco banner is Savco President and Navy veteran Jack Ross and his wife Camilla Ross, a dual service veteran. Next is the 2021 Toys for Tots Area 6 Coordinators of the Year, Karen and Marine veteran Leonard Barrow, whom coordinate the Sedona Toys for Tots, delivering hope and joy to over a thousand children at Christmas time. Following close behind and piling the Toys for Tots train and leading some of the many Savco members is Marine Corps veteran and Savco Vice President Mark Carey and his wife Michelle Carey. Come check out Savco at their next meeting at the Elf's Clubs. And for more information, savco.org. Well, next up, the Sedona Car Club waiting on us out here today for the St. Patty's Day Parade. Absolutely love this view. You've got the background mm -hmm. of the red rocks behind us and then some of the most gorgeous vehicles in the world. Ooh, as the Ferrari uh, revs its engine. Now, our question was is whether or not they would all be in order okay. out here today. That, of course, the 2001 uh, Ferrari. And there is the Corvette, mm -hmm. 1962 Corvette, followed by, oh, yes, thank you. Um, that would, the 1951 MG TD, and then the 1952 MG TD in order. Nice. Beautiful out here. Absolutely. Followed by the 1959 Austin Healy Sprite. How cute. Perfectly named. They could have named it a leprechaun, though. Sprites, leprechauns, they're kind of interchangeable. Are they? <laughs> uh, it depends on your lore. <laughs> it really does. Your lore? Yeah. Leprechauns are actually, they're Celtic fairies, and they were considered cranky souls who were responsible for fixing the shoes of all the other fairies. <laughs> They were like low order fairies. Okay. <laughs> low on the totem pole. Load them on the okay. fairy pole. <laughs> All right. Very good. 1969 Alpha Romero, the mm -hmm. Duetta Spider. Nice. And Ooh. then, of course, we've got the 57 Thunderbird. What a fancy car that oh. is. I love the shape of the hood and the nose and the grill. That is And the little, round, little rounded windows. Yeah, very the pretty. 2005 Thunderbird. There you go. The and 2006 there. Avante. And I see a 2012 VW EOS there. Nice convertible, looking pretty. Ooh, followed by a beautiful blue 1948 Chevy pickup. Look at that. Nice paint job. She is pretty. <laughs> and that's the horn. That's, that's what we've been what waiting to hear. hear. Oh, my gosh. And then followed, of course, by the lowrider. The 66 Chevy. 66 Chevy Lowrider. Step side. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Much easier to get in and out of <laughs> than my car. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Want to thank the, key, the View Coffee Cafe for sponsoring out here today. Proudly serving Starbucks beverages on a cold, blistery day. That works out great. You can coffee order ahead by phone or online, and they'll have it ready for you. Incredible red rock views from the courtyard patio. Hours 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily, and they're also open for breakfast and lunch uh, all the time. TheViewCoffeeCafe.com. Absolutely. We want to also thank the Sedona Chamber of Commerce for making Sedona the best place to live, work, play, and visit. Check out their website for all their upcoming events at SedonaChamber.com. And now we have Radical Rebounding coming up. I hope they give us a show. They were giving it down the street a show. We want a show too. <laughs> Radical Rebounding is a mini trampoline fitness group for everyone. It is a full body workout to upbeat music, making exercise fun and effective for all fitness levels. Classes are conducted daily in the village of Oak Creek Studio. And they also offer live stream and video classes on demand. Rebounding benefits are the detoxification of the lymph system. It strengthens every muscle in the body with 87% less impact than jogging on a hard surface. So it makes it effective cardiovascular workout without harming the joints. And last but not least, think of the fun you're going to have when you do this workout. <laughs> sure looks like fun. All right, give them a round of applause out there. Very nice. So they're keeping warm. No doubts, huh? <laughs> and we need one of those under here. <laughs> Keep your feet warm doing that. Oh, too fun. 
and they bring their ex ex exercise machines with them. <laughs> they do. <laughs> Look at this. They just roll them down, roll them down the, the, the street. Hey, why did the leprechaun's mom yell at him? Hmm. Why did the leprechaun's mom yell at him? Because he was jumping on the patio furniture. Ah. <laughs> I know that was bad. I just made that up on the fly. So. <laughs> Here comes Running River School. What a nice turnout for Running River School. Running River is a local independent non-profit grade school offering Waldorf-inspired education here in Sedona for grades one through eight. Running River School provides an integ integrative and experiential educational environment with strong respects for the child as unique individuals with multiple intelligences. Running River School also believes that education is a creative process and knowledge is best integrated when the experiential meets the academic. Music, art, handwork, physical movement, play, and foreign languages are crucial to the attainment of these goals and are featured as elements of the core curriculum. By respecting the whole of the child, the head, hands, and heart, in a developmentally appropriate way, Running River School anticipates a level of happiness, self-efficacy, competence, and integrity that will set their students apart. Running River School students will be on a path to becoming strong, intelligent, healthy, and sought-after leaders in our increasingly complex world. They also figure out how to tie up adults. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's a good skill. And look at the knight. Oh, we do have a knight. Oh, we have a knight in, in shining, shining armor, armor on a white horse. Oh, oh you've got to love go. that. Oh, thank you. Oh, the little leprechaun just handed me a streamer. Oh, that was so cute. But yeah, look at that knight. So gorgeous. Now, before... When we started here, we were talking about how the pooper scoopers had to be in front of the horse yes, with the wind blowing. Of the wind. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the poop would be uh, proceeding the horse <laughs> instead of preceding. Projectile. <laughs> that horse looks very well behaved, though. Very calm. <laughs> the USDA Forest Service is up next, and Smokey Bear does not have a middle name named the. Smokey Bear would like to remind you to uh, pack out all your trash, stay on designated roads and trails and always, 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 always completely extinguish your campfires. Only you can prevent wildfires. Looking good. And Smokey is always green, even on St. Patty's Day. He's one of the greenest guys we know. <laughs> <laughs> and their trucks are green, too, so everyone they is are. in the spirit here. <laughs> so when they're green like that, do you get them lost in the forest easier that way? or? Mm. I well, mean, you, you would, you know, you would I'm, think. I just wonder. I think that color green might stand out. You don't, you don't see mint ice cream green much in the forest. Mint ice cream green. <laughs> That's a mint ice cream uh -huh. green. There comes some more green. We've got horses and green outfits and lots of glitter. The Rio Verde Roverettes are coming up next. The Rio Verde Roverettes is an all-woman mounted drill team from Verde Valley founded in 1974. Their purpose is to promote good horsemanship, good sportsmanship, the Verde Valley, good health, and the Western way of life. Looking good. And the horses don't seem bothered by the wind today at all. Nope. Yep. Well, very good. They got nice jackets on. They do. They're winter coats still. Mm. Look at that. Where in the world do you find green chaps? That's <laughs> impressive. <laughs> no doubt. Huh? Looking good. Absolutely. Oh, and here come the, the ever faithful pooper scoopers. Yep. Gotta have the pooper scoopers. So the green chaps come from the green chap store. <laughs> is that it? Yep. <laughs> well, that is very good. Wouldn't you think? Yeah, that, that makes perfect sense to me. I, I would think so. <laughs> All right, next up is one of our parade sponsors, Patriot Disposal. Servicing Yavapai County for over 23 years for all residential and commercial trash hauling needs. Patriot Disposal is the only trash hauler in northern Arizona that uses clean burning, compressed natural gas, reducing our carbon footprint. So all of us can be clean and green for St. Patty's Day and every day probably in between, huh? Mm-hmm, absolutely. Jackie, how do you make a leprechaun mad? <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know. I've done really good with ex-wives, but I don't know about leprechauns. Well, to make a leprechaun mad, all you have to do is uh. push his luck. Oh. <laughs> da -dun -dun. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. Are you guys grading these? <laughs> I am not being judged. Okay, thank all right. Goodness. I am not, I'm not part of our wonderful judging team today, which is <laughs> thankful for everyone else. <laughs> but Robin Prudon Bauer and Aaron Bruce and Jan Mark Wazumbing, now they have, are on the top of their game for judging. So everyone is uh, doing a great job today in the parade. Well, next up, we have our newly elected 2023-2024 Miss Yavapai Apache Nation. And that is Kekilana uh, Ke Lowry and her royal court. That is just always looking good. And they're wearing green today, too. Beautiful. Very nice way to represent today. The 2023-2024 Miss Yavapai Apache Nation. They do such a great job of coming out in all the parades with their entourage, their wonderful completely handmade outfits. They have to make all of those by hand themselves. Is that right? That is right. I did not know yes, that. Yes, and you see they start really young. Uh -huh. We have tiny tots all the way up to the nations. They're, they're really amazing. Such a great job. Okay, Kilana did a wonderful job this year, really impressed everyone in her tribe and her elders to be given such a position. It's such a wonderful start for a young woman's life amongst the Yavapai Apache Nation to be given such an honor as this. Thank you so much for showing up today. We very much appreciate you. And they are the end of our parade today. They are indeed. We want to thank our sponsors once again, including Sedona Parks and Rec, providing diverse year-round uh, leisure opportunities for citizens, mm -hmm. visitors, and future generations of Sedona. And they, uh, they have uh, sports and camps and classes and so much more. You can check them out. Of course, uh, the best way to reach them is through uh, SedonaAZ.gov and look up Sedona Parks and Rec. Absolutely. Thank you again to this year's parade sponsors, Taylor Waste, Sedona Trolley, Patriot Disposal, and a big thank you to the Sedona Police Department and all of the volunteers who helped put the parade on today and to keep it safe and who did a wonderful job. Sedona Chamber of Commerce, uh, making Sedona the best place to live, work, play, and visit. And you can check out all of their upcoming events as, as well as all of their members available mm -hmm. at SedonaChamber.com. That's true. Now would be a great time to go over to the View Coffee Cafe Cafe and grab one of their Starbucks beverages, warm yourself up. You can order on the phone right now and avoid the crowd. No doubt. <laughs> or order online. They'll have it ready by the time you walk there. You can then sit on their courtyard patio and check out the Red Rock Views. Open today from 6 to 5 for breakfast, for lunch. They got parfaits and smoothies. Grab something before a hike or a ride. Check them out. TheViewCoffeeCafe.com And then make reservations tonight. Sound Bites Grill. Mm. Casual fine dining with lar a large seafood influence. World class entertainment nightly. Open Wednesday through Saturday. Saturday, so tonight they're open uh, 11 to 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, Sunday, 11 to 8 p.m. Best patio views, an extensive wine list as well, and a best uh, wine tasting experience available. And you can check out their website at soundbitegrill, soundbitesgrill.com. There you go. Well, it has been a wonderful day for the Sedona St. Patrick's Day Parade. Thank you all so much for joining us. We didn't blow away. Nope, not yet. Which was good. The wind was trying this morning. Calm down a little bit. But it was a super turnout. One of the best turnouts I've seen. An awesome parade. Well, it's always uh, fun working with you, Jen. Absolutely, Jackie. And thank you all so much for joining us at this Yavapai Broadcasting production of the Sedona St. Patrick's Day Parade. We'll see you next year. This broadcast of the 2023 Sedona St. Patrick's Day Parade has been brought to you by Sedona Parks and Recreation, providing diverse year-round leisure opportunities for citizens, visitors, and future generations of Sedona. The Sedona Chamber of Commerce, making Sedona the best place to live, work, play, and visit. Visit their website at SedonaChamber.com to view upcoming events. The View Coffee Cafe, proudly serving Starbucks beverages and coffees with incredible red rock views from their courtyard patio. Visit them at the shops at Pinion Point in Sedona or online at theviewcoffeecafe.com. And Sound Bites Grill, casual fine dining with a large seafood influence and world-class entertainment nightly. Located at the shops at Pinion Point in Sedona or online at soundbitesgrill.com. This presentation of Verde Valley Television can be found online at verdevalleytv.com, on the Verde Valley YouTube page, or on your local Sparklight Channel 1056.